Hey everyone, what's up? Justin here. Today I'm talking with you about everything that I take for triathlon and how it fits in this one little bag. What's up everyone, welcome to Justin Does Triathlon. Today we're doing a gear review, specifically everything that I take with me to a triathlon and how it fits in this little 18 liter REI bag right here. It just doesn't seem like you need to take a specific dedicated bag. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. First off, this bag is an REI Flash 18, 30 bucks. In my experience, I don't tend to need a lot of organization. Once I take stuff to transition, everything comes out of the bag. And when I'm done with the race, everything goes back into the bag. Second thing I wanna say before I get in is I tend to wear a lot of stuff to the race on race morning. So for instance, I don't need to keep my running shoes in here or my wetsuit in here, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. And I'll show you what I'm using for all that. First thing that I've got is my nutrition, which is Tailwind and my water bottle. And this is actually a little bit of a thing to demonstrate that I can actually fit more stuff in this bag too. I use Tailwind Nutrition for my main fuel source on race day. It's essentially a sugar mixture with some carbs. It keeps me running really, really well. I have a sensitive stomach and this works awesome for me. Full review of this on the way. You put one or two scoops in, depending on how concentrated you want it. And I'll actually pre-mix my powder into these bottles, fill these with water, put them on my bike, and bam, I've got my nutrition on the bike. For water bottles, I'm using these specialized purist bottles, especially if you're using a mixture like this in your water. You really wanna make sure you've got a water bottle that doesn't leak, otherwise it's gonna get all over your bike. This also has a little stripe up the side so you can see how much water you have left exactly. I wanna drink a quarter of my liquid nutrition every 15, 20 minutes, however you wanna do that math. Next in my gear bag, I have my cycling shoes and socks. So I just use pretty basic uh, cycling shoes that I've had for a really long time, the Shimano RO76s. They're fine, they're nothing fancy. Socks, I'm a big fan of these darn tough socks. You guys have heard me talk about these in the past. They're merino wool. Keep your feet warm in the cooler weather and dry in the hotter weather. I don't know how they do it. You wanna make sure you've got a sock that isn't gonna cause blisters either on the bike or the run. Next up on my transition bag is sunscreen, especially if you're crazy white and pale like I am. This is a non-option to leave at home. Next up, we have some sort of hat, little thing for me, but I'll always make sure to have a hat. So speaking of sun protection, two pairs of glasses, a dark one and a clear one. Have both options. You never know when the weather's gonna turn. These are just carpenter safety glasses actually, and they're probably only 10, 15 bucks, and these are some of the best investments that I've ever made in running and triathlon. They really work nicely for dusk as well to keep the bugs out of your eyes if it's too dark to wear actual sunglasses. These are super awesome. Definitely recommend everyone get some of these. Next up is a little pack towel. It's a little chamois sort of style pack towel, 10, $15 when I get out of the swim just to dry my face or if I'm having issues getting my socks on, it's nice to have one of these. Next up is a race belt. Grab it, put it on, and I'll have my race number on for the bike and the run. The other cool thing about this is they have little loops that you can put in for gels. So if you are planning on using gels, you can put that right in the belt as well. Next up, I have a couple pair of goggles these are the Speedo Vanquisher 2s. I've done a review on them before. Big fan of these goggles. They fit me really well. They're cheap. They last a crazy long time. I don't take that great care of them. You can see they're kind of scratched or whatever, but honestly, they still work fine. I always carry a clear and a mirrored. The clear ones are great for any time I know I'm going to be indoors or if it's super overcast. And then the mirrored ones are great for everything else outdoors. So if it's going to be sunny at all, I default to the mirrored ones. They're pretty cheap each, only about 20 bucks. If you can afford to get both, definitely recommend it. So you've got the options. If you can only afford one, get the mirrored ones because you can use these indoors and they'll just be a little bit dark. Whereas these clear ones, it's really uncomfortable to look into the sun. Next coming out of my bag is my watch. This is a Sunto Ambit 3 Sport. I don't use it in anything that's a sprint just because I know I'm gonna be running hard the entire time. I'll probably use it anytime I do an Olympic and then definitely anytime 
a half or longer distance race. Next up is my heart rate monitor strap. Again, similar to the watch, I'll just be wearing it on race day. And again, I don't use it on every race. I don't have a power meter on my bike. So getting some heart rate training and understanding your heart rate zones is pretty useful to see how much power you're outputting. So next up on the list is Body Glide. And this is an anti-chafe cream. Essentially, it comes in this tube, looks a lot like deodorant. It goes on smooth. Honestly, it doesn't feel that slick when you put it on, but it's enough that it keeps your skin from chafing or blistering. And then if I'm wearing a wetsuit, I'll put this on anywhere that I need the wetsuit to move freely or come off freely. So that's my wrists and ankles, and then shoulders, collar, clavicle, top of the shoulders, and back so that I can move freely when I swim. Next up out of the bag is some bike lube. You'll want to do your bike maintenance beforehand. Honestly, I've started bringing this just because I've had so many people ask me if I have bike lube on race morning. Getting near to the end of the bag, I've got a lacrosse ball. This is an awesome little recovery piece, and I will just leave it in transition when I get done with the race. I don't need to worry about what sort of things the race provides. I can get rid of my calf knots or my quad knots and just roll it out and deal with those knots before they become too painful and I don't have to rely on the race to provide recovery gear. Next on the recovery gear spectrum is something for after the race and you want to provide some nutrients right when you're done with your race. This is new-ish. It's called Recovery by Tailwind. It's a powder. You mix it with water. I just find it very convenient because I can mix it with water. So again, a lot of races will provide recovery food and recovery drink, but I just like knowing that I've got something that works well for me quickly right when the race is over. I can grab a 60 ounce bottle of water, tear the top off, and bam, I've got recovery drink, protein, carb. That's actually pretty much it for what goes in the bag. I've got some other stuff that I want to show that I take with me. Next up is the box that goes on the back of my bike and how I use it and what I keep in it. You guys have seen me talk in the past about how I think it's important to always have gear with you to take care of any mechanical issues that you might have on the bike. First up on here is a middle of the road bike tool. I know I'm probably not gonna be fixing spokes and stuff on race day. So just a middle of the road tool with a bunch of Allen keys is gonna be enough to fix the vast majority of problems that you're realistically going to be able to fix. Next up, I have a tube and a CO2 inflator as well as some patches. Last thing that's in here is a set of tire levers. I know there's people who say you don't necessarily need tire levers, but it is so dependent on the wheel and the tire. Learn how to use your gear ahead of time, figure out if you need tire levers. The big thing that I would really recommend we get on your shoes are these lock laces. You just pull this little lever down, just like that, and your shoes are tight and they're not gonna come off. The very first race I did, it was stormy and cold and wet, and when I got off the bike, I could honestly barely tie my own shoes. They're quicker, they always work, and they stay tied, and for 10 bucks, they're super awesome. And of course, can't forget about the wetsuit. So this is a kind of old suit. I've had it for four or five years. This is a Xterra Vortex 3 full suit. One of the things that makes a wetsuit faster compared to swimming without a suit, especially for those of us who are not as good of swimmers, is they put your body in a great position on top of the water flat. So this is actually kind of a cheaper suit, a cheaper brand. Xterra suits are generally only about $250. You always wanna make sure you get a coupon with these guys. And compared to suits that are six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800, they're not gonna be as flexible and they're probably not quite as comfortable, but if they fit you, they are almost going to be as fast. They all have the same amount of neoprene. They're all gonna do the same amount of buoyancy. The big difference is uh, how flexible it is and how much freedom of movement you have. One day down the road, I might move up to a better suit, a more expensive suit. I think it's a lot of diminishing returns on wetsuits. So this Xterra Vortex 3 works great for me. And getting to the end of the gear, I also have my helmet. And normally I would have gloves as well. Loaned mine out recently, so I don't have them to show you. Gloves, because as you can see, I've had 15-ish stitches in my palms because I crashed my bike when I was not wearing gloves. And then the very last thing right here is a towel. Put this down on the bottom of your transition area to mark your space. So that's it for all the gear I take with me. But the question I get a lot is, how do I put all of this stuff with me on race day and how do I bring it? So here's what I do. I will put the helmet attached to the handlebars of my bike. The towel and the wetsuit are gonna get wrapped up together. This neoprene is kind of delicate. And then I will sit that on my bike on the handlebar area. So now I can carry this and my towel and my helmet on the bike. 
Hope you guys like seeing all this gear that I have. If you have any questions about what I use specifically, let me know. Really curious to know if there's anything you guys disagree with, if there's something that works better for you, or if there's something that you use that I don't. Leave it in the comments so that other people can have options as well. I hope you guys subscribe so you can see more triathlon content coming down the road, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and go do some training of your own. See everyone.